Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we are going to do my top 22 candles for the year 2022. Um, I have made a list over and over and over, I've taken candles off, I've put candles back on, and the truth is, is that I think at no point will this list be perfect, but on this list I have a lot of the candles I've truly enjoyed this year. So before I forget, I'm going to say, let me know down below. You can do one, two, five, 22 candles that came out this year. You've really enjoyed. I do have a cough drop going on. Um, first day of break, I caught a little bug. So left school for the last day of school, feeling quite awful. Woke up the next day feeling really awful. And I decided I still wanted to make some content. So I'm, this is the best that I'm going to be for right now. But this just helps um, with the coughing and so and the sniffling. And I don't, I'd rather do that with the candy than do the sniffling and stuff. So I'm really sorry if that irritates anybody. I will be better and then the content will be so annoying. But I want to make this video. So here we go. So again, I'm sure this isn't going to be all of the best candles, but this is a lot of the ones I truly loved. This year, I felt like I really stepped out of the box of things that I do enjoy from Bath and Body Works. Um, for the most part, I've always loved fruity candles and gourmand scented candles, but this year I really tried some new scents, some floral scents, some earthy scents. So we're going to jump in now. We'll, you will still see quite a bit of gourmand and fruity scents on this list, but for number one, actually, I'm sorry for candle 22, I am going to include chocolate banana mudslide. Now I don't think this was everybody's favorite, but when this came out in the summer, this really hit a top tier for me. Um, this was so strong. The throw and the projection on this candle was very strong, very high, and I could smell every single note in this candle. The notes are frozen banana, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and splash of rum. I really like the way the rum was done with the chocolate and banana in this candle. Um, and I didn't, I mean, like there's candles I have just thought were way too boozy or smell like they had no booze in them whatsoever. This I just felt like was done really well. But the chocolate and banana, I've recreated many times in different Fresh Blend videos for you all. It was done so well in here. I like the chocolate. It smells like syrup. It smells, you know, sticky sweet and frozen to the glass. The bananas, they really kind of like invoke that bl that blended fruitiness of the drink. And then just the right amount of rum. Not the rum, too much rum where you're going to be the first one on the dance floor. But also, it wasn't all booze. So they did a nice job on this candle. I hope they do continue to give us every once in a while some new fun scents because these are very like kind of like what I'm trying to say like they evoke a memory to me like I don't totally think this is a summer candle because we used to go have fun at night have the frozen drinks and just you know that's why I think this candle doesn't really belong anywhere else besides in the summer set um but I really enjoyed it I know there were a few people that felt like it didn't perform well but mine really did and I'm glad I backed this one up because I really love that chocolate banana blend in here with just a little bit of rum the next collection I want to talk about is kind of a, so I didn't cheat, <laughs> but there are a few collections that as a whole, I felt like were really well done by Bath and Body Works. And one of those collections was the neutrals collections. I think this came out in like spring, summer, fall, and we got like five to six candles in each. And I feel like there were some really like standout candles in each of those collections, like dark, amber, and oud was a really good one for the first collection. I am highlighting my absolute favorite two after lots and lots of smelling and just like these are the two that's like I really enjoy right now. So this one is my most recent pickup. The only reason I think it's in here is because like I said, I really love clean laundry scents, but this one is just a little bit more than just like a plain old laundry detergent in your face clean scent. With the lavender, it definitely smells like some really nice scent beads are thrown in there. It's super strong, but I love just how these perform so nicely. The, the neutrals collection as a whole, I have just yet to have one that didn't perform for me very well. So um, I really like this one. Cozy Linen Nectarine was another good one, but my favorite, and it's just because it reminds me of my mom so much, my mom loved patchouli scents. So when I got my hands on Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli, I just knew this was going to be my favorite of the Neutrals collection. So I'm highlighting the Neutrals collection, but really this one in particular. This is Rich Pumpkin, Warm Patchouli, and a Touch of Cinnamon Sugar. 
And they just did such a good job of blending pumpkin with the cinnamon spices and that patchouli. I would have never thought pumpkin and patchouli would ever be in the same type of scent arena. And this is so nice. I really get the cinnamon sugar kind of over that like toasted pumpkin scent, but patchouli, it just makes it so earthy and herbal, very strong, but um, the pumpkin holds its own as does the cinnamon. So this is just a nice blend of all of the scent notes. I love this and it really does remind me of my mom because she had patchouli in like every form of it, like body oil and all the things. So I love that candle, but I really love the neutrals collection. I think they did a nice job on that. Okay, in the number 20 spot, this was just my standout candle of the fall. Autumn Chai. I'm a sucker for a coffee candle and this isn't quite coffee, but it would definitely be at the coffee shop. This is Cinnamon Chai, French Vanilla Froth and Smooth Caramel. I just think they did a really nice job and for, we just did not get a ton of coffee candles this year and it's just one of my absolute favorite categories. So I know I bring the most of this candle over the fall, so it had to kind of be my favorite. I think I had three or four of them. I really like this because like I said, the caramel isn't like, so if I'm being honest, even though I'm an OG fan, like caramel drizzle, those candles, salted caramel pumpkin, those are way too caramel for me. Um, the one that comes out in the Christmas time, too much caramel for me. This is perfect because it does have that smooth, sweet caramel, but it's just a hint. It's not taking over. I can still get the cinnamon chai, which is a strong scent as well. I also get a little bit of vanilla. This just really does smell like kind of like an authentic, flavored coffee to me and I feel like it also performed really well so I loved that candle for fall but a couple more um fall candles I really did enjoy I felt like fall this year was very unique um so these are the ones that just kind of and not only just because they just came out but these are ones that I felt like overall were very unique scents to me to me um number 19 would go to Apple Macchiato. This is probably my favorite candle out of that collection that came out. I did not get to just try maple candy. Um, blueberry cotton candy was a pass for me. The other ones were like kind of overdone to me. I liked this one. This smells like a really good kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really smell like a drink to me. It kind of almost smells like an apple muffin. This is sliced apples, hint of cinnamon, caramel, drizzle, frothed milk. I'm not getting that milk note. So again, but when you burn it with something like this, your house smells like Starbucks. And like, who doesn't want their house to smell like Starbucks? I do. I will have to say this is probably my favorite apple scent of fall. And that's why it went down one spot from Autumn Chai. But burning these together was just, it was fall in my house. It smelled so good. Everything blended really, really well. The cinnamon, the chai, the um, caramel, the frothy drink, milk, whatever. It just blended so nicely, but they both held their own. I didn't feel like one drowned out the other. So another blend I really enjoyed. And those were just two candles I went through quite a few during the fall season. Number 17 goes to this one though, Sweet Cinnamon Plum. I liked this candle quite a bit. I don't know if it got a lot of attention. I was kind of during my like, I can't keep up with YouTube phase. Juicy Plum, Cinnamon Apples, and Ground Clove Bud. I get all of those things in here. I love how the plum hits me and it's like very ripe, but not overly ripe, just perfect. And then also I really enjoy the cinnamon and the clove. This just smells like fall in the jar as well but also something just a little bit different because of the plum. That's why I liked it just a tiny bit more. Um, I definitely backed this one up as well. And this was just a new scent to me. I don't know if they've done it in the past, but I really enjoyed this for fall. We get a lot of apple and cinnamon and pumpkin, but this was like definitely fall forward with a hint of plum. So it was a knock out of the park for me. I really enjoyed sweet cinnamon plum. Number 17 is going to go to sugar plum fairy. Now hear me out. This is basic, but Champagne Toast has been one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works since it ever came out. And this has all of the DNA of Champagne Toast without the effervescence. It is sweet sugar plum, candied cranberry, and sugared orange. One other reason I really enjoy this candle is this is such an easy candle to blend with something maybe a little bit lighter or even a little bit stronger to tone it down. This does a really nice job of just giving the air some reset, some fruitiness. I love it. Um, it's light. It is a... I don't want to say light thrower, but it's delicate in the air. There's just nothing like strong about this candle, but you wouldn't get, you wouldn't think there would be when you smell it on cold. So if you're willing to smell this in the store and you like what you smell, that's exactly what you're going to get on burn. I can't really think of another way to say that, but 
Um, this one I just thought was super cute, but also the cuteness translated into the scent. And again, another candle that you could burn with like a bubbly rosé or a champagne toast to enhance the fruit without doing more of the boozy notes, if you will. And the packaging was super cute on this one. So number 17 went to Sugar Plum Fairy because it was new to me. Um, 16 is going to go to this collection. I mean, I picked two. These are my absolute favorites from the tropics this um, year. One thing I have to say is that they really started to pay attention to lids and packaging. Like everything has been for me cohesive for the year. I feel, I feel like it's so rare that we've just gotten like a sticker slapped on some wax and it doesn't work together. Like the lids and the, the wraparound label, um, they match the, the collections as a whole, make you kind of want to get the whole collection, if you know what I'm saying. But my favorite scents, scents are what's most important, um, that came out of Tropics this time around were Pink Pineapple Sunrise and Beach Weather. These were just candles I really, really enjoyed over the summer, and they may not have been, like, absolute favorite candles of the summer, but they both held their own for me in, um, you know, different ways. So, Pink Pineapple Sunrise was Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drenched Nectar. This is just sweet, sweet, sweet pineapple. It's almost like that's all that it is. It's just this, it's dripping with sugar, dripping with sweetness. It's like a, the freshest form of pineapple that I've ever smelled. Really nice, Th gave a throw, easy to blend with other things to make punches and different kinds of drinks. Beach weather was far more interesting to me though. Um, again, super beautiful jar design. This had sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, breezy palm trees and crashing waves. This just smells like cologne mixed with skin scent after a long day on the beach. Um, so good. And then I get a little bit of that wood in there, like, you know, just off to the side. The waves are crashing over it and you can really smell it. Nothing like drinky in here. Nothing too fruity or anything like that. Really great blend um, of all those notes and a really great burn. I remember I went through like two of these over the summer great burn. I really enjoyed it. I just had this one. I would love for them to do that one again because I feel like it was just a really good candle for summer. Spot number 15 goes to the Fancy Jar collection. We have Springtime in Paris. This was a really pretty scented, it smelled like apple shampoo to me, um, from like my childhood. Sweet Peach, Lotus Blossom, fr Lotus Blossom Fresh Bergamot. I mean, I still kind of get a little hint of that like bergamot scent and the watery floral. I liked it. I wish I would've got more. I've burnt this one about halfway and I just don't want to finish it because it's just pretty. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty scent. Um, we all love toasted coconut eclair. This is fresh baked donut, milk chocolate frosting, toasted coconut flake. Probably a favorite. I think this one went first. Really pretty jar and it smells really good too. It was compared to the toasted coconut s'mores from like 2018, excuse me, 2019. And then pink Prosecco frosting. I'm still seeing this candle around. They must have thought this one was going to do better than it did because I think I saw this at Candle Day and I have like three of them. So I feel like I've got my, it's not a hoard worthy candle, but it's, I got three is good. Um, pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberry chilled Prosecco. Really pretty collection though, all together. I feel like they could do this again in the spring and it would go over really well. It was the first time they hit us with that $29.50 price point though. So it's going to be like a $12.95 sale that you're going to sell those at, you know, not a 10 off sale. But it was a really nice collection. Really pretty jars. And I think a lot of people found that to be something they wanted them to repeat. Okay, another candle collection that we must talk about. Let me find it. Oh, I found it. Okay. Spot number 14 is going to go to the weekly drop collection that came at us in like September, maybe October, and we were getting a candle each week. Um, totally new scents, totally strange scents. We got like a candy bacon. Um, this one I pulled out just because it was funny. This I call the sage candle or the stuffing candle. It says Thanksgiving celebration. It really does just smell like the stuffing packet, even before you cook it. I don't think I'll ever need to burn this candle. I kind of just wanted to keep it forever. The candle I liked the best was the chocolate espresso martini. This smells really good. Definitely get the coffee note in there mixed with the martini. Coffee liqueur, espresso, splash of vodka, dark turquoise swirl. I like that they did this. This was very creative. It kind of 
drummed up a little bit of excitement. What were they going to drop? What were they going to bring us? Um, they've done a little bit of mashup this year, so they've played with the idea. I hope they keep going with that. They have so much in their vault that they can mix and match or bring out of the vault. Um, you know, they keep bringing the same thing out every year. I think what if they were to go back five years and just bring back a whole bunch of those scents, that would really hype people up. But this was really fun. Not candles that I would want for burning all the time, but definitely collector items for me anyway. I haven't burnt any of them except for this one because I grabbed like three of them. Um, the other ones I'm just keeping, but a mesh and gravy candle, hilarious. Um, the candy maple bacon. I know Sneeko has done a few blend videos with that one. And so if you did have that candle and you do want to burn it, there's a lot of things you can do with that candle to make it like super yummy. But that whole collection I thought deserved a place in the top 22 candles because that was super creative and there's a little bit more coming as we go. All right. And then one of my favorite coffee candles that have come out this year was Fala La Latte. I always have to include a coffee scented candle. Um, you know, I've got a couple actually, but I love, love, love when, again, you can make your house smell like Starbucks. So this one does have a hint of Christmas to it. I wonder if they would have added a little bit of mint if it would have smelled like that white mint latte candle that we had. But this is a shot of espresso vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. I do like this candle almost better than like chocolate chip cookie for the cookie scent. Doesn't have anything burnt about it. Um, yeah, I almost, I just pick up a mint. Maybe I'm just putting it in there, but I really like this candle. This was probably my favorite Christmas um, besides Sugar Plum Fairy that they came out with this year. It does not hold a candle to my caramel brulee latte or even brown sugar latte though. I like those just a little bit better. But this is what they gave us this year and it did get a spot on my list. So this is candle number 13. Now I'm going to do some switching and I will be right back. Candle number 12 is pretty far back into the year. But one of the first candles I fell in love with of the year 2022 Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles. This was our Valentine's candle. And as soon as, like, this was love on first sniff. This was love on cold sniff. Um, the notes are rich chocolate gooey butterscotch candy cherry. And it was said over and over and over, this is like sticking your nose in that box of heart-shaped chocolates where nothing's burning. So again, even on cold, it's like before you actually stick your finger in any of those chocolates, like you can smell everything a little bit, a little bit of milk chocolate, a little bit of dark chocolate, a little bit of like the fruity filling inside of them. Oh man, I really enjoy this candle and it just it was perfect. It was a perfect Valentine's Day scent. Um, I loved the packaging even. I think this and Bubbly Rosé were kind of the, sometimes Rose Water and Avi, perfect candles for Valentine's Day. They need to keep doing stuff like this because this was really good. Um, but the year before they gave us that chocolate covered cherry uh, body care. And I think that we liked it a little bit better in the candle form. But yeah, it's just like you can smell everything in here. And it just really makes me think like this would be just such a sweet gift to give somebody along with some candy and chocolates or flowers. So I loved that scent so much. And then next, another candle I loved so much was Ice Lemon Pound Cake. So... This came out in one of the la like the latest spring collections before summer. We were getting um, this collection. I know it came out with like Blue Sky Breeze. I think like a Black Cherry Merlot maybe or something. Don't quote me on that one. But our Black Cherry Seltzer. And this one was the last one to come to my store. And I was like, I don't think we're going to get it. And that kind of happens a lot to me. Where the hype was like over by the time I got my hands on this. And I backed this up heavy. Um, I was a fan of Ice Lemon Cake Pop. I loved the Tea and Biscuits Candle. Um, I love like, I like the Lemon Martini scent. I love lemon scents. Long story short, Lemon Blueberry. That's my thing. Um, this is Sugary Glaze Icing Pure Lemon Zest Fluffy Pound Cake. I would say this doesn't seem as heavy on the pound cake note as even like the Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. That seems like a heavy pound cake note that's just straight peach with the pound cake. Strawberry pound cake. This is a nicer, lighter scent, but I like that because I think of lemon as being uplifting, zesty, and light. So I think they really nailed this candle. I like it much better than ice lemon cake pot. And it's just sweet and lemon and sugary. It kind of reminds me of those Girl Scout cookies, the, like lemonades or lemonos or whatever, the lemonados, I don't know, that the Girl Scouts sell for you know, $27 a box, but they just that sugary mix with the lemon is perfect. I've always liked that kind of a candle. 
kind of a cookie scent, you know, a, it could have been a cookie too, ice lemon cookie, but um, you do get a nice fluffy cake note in there. It's just that it's not a heavy pound cake, but I think pound cake is the name that kind of ties everything to strawberry pound cake and it makes it sell. So I'm good with the name. I really love that candle. I backed it up quite a bit and I hope they bring it back because it was a really good one. Okay, next let's talk about mashups. They did do some very fun mashups. Hold on one second. All right, so for the number 10 spot, let's talk mashups. Now, the weekly drops were fun candles, but they were kind of scents that were a little bit more novelty, whereas the mashups were really trying to be scents that already existed um, and just maybe enhanced. And I feel like a lot of them were hits, but depending on your scent profile, there have been three different collections, two or three different collections, two. One was the Manusil, one was Camel Day, but then they've already kind of blended some other things too. But both of them had candles that really, really stood out to me um, and for my scent taste. Now, some of the scents that were put together just really weren't things that I wanted to try. So I didn't try everything. But from the first round, I was in love with Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. And everyone said it. There's no strawberry pound cake in here, but this is the most like delectable sweet peach. Um, it's juicy peaches, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It doesn't even claim to say there's any strawberries in here, but you see strawberry pound cake and you go to smell it and it's not there, but what you get is so good that it doesn't matter to me, but that's my thoughts on it. So that was the first mashup that just had my heart. I've burnt it several times. And what I like about this one in particular I don't think I could blend my own Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake and come up with this scent, whereas some of the other ones I totally could have, like Rosewater and Ivy and Mahogany Teakwood. I totally could have took two singles and made that scent, um, but this one I just feel like was actually a blend, a true blend of those two candles to make its own authentic thing. Now, here's another one that I feel like you can make yourself. It's cinnamon or spiced cinnamon vanilla and Paris Cafe, but if you know, you know. Paris Cafe is one of the best candles on the planet. Mixing it with cinnamon spice vanilla, which is one of the strongest candles Beth and Body Works makes, I think, in my opinion, especially in the gourmand world, this, you just didn't know how strong it was going to be. It's a perfect blend, in my opinion. Perfect blend of the two. Um, the notes they provide are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, sugar crystals. Doesn't have the baroche in here from Paris Cafe. Doesn't have the cake notes that they sometimes give to cinnamon spice vanilla. But this is a yummy candle. Um, every time I burn this candle, I'm like, I want a treat, a snack, a good coffee. It was a great blend, but could you admit yourself? Yes. Um, another one that I think they did a pretty good job on came out for candle day. It's sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. I love blueberry sugar. It's one of my favorite candles ever. Sugar lemonade I get every single summer. This does seem to be a very, very good blend of the two. Um, I do feel like if you had those on hand, you probably could make this yourself as well. The notes that they provide are sweet blueberry, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. Um, I still feel that as of on cold, I haven't burned this one yet, but as of on cold, this is heavier on the lemonade than it is the blueberry sugar. Blueberry sugar just has this nice sweet blueberry candy scent that I'm not getting on cold as much. It's there, but it's super light. So we'll see if it comes out and burn. But overall for 2022, the mashup collections have been hits. Um, there hasn't been a bad one. There hasn't been anything that anybody's like, whoa, what is that? Um, I know that I kind of wanted to get my hands on a few more of the ones that came out for Candle Day, like Waikiki Beach and Cinnamon Stick. That actually kind of sounded pretty good, but I just didn't go that crazy this year for Candle Day. So I missed out on that one. Let me know what were your favorite mashups down below because I really am curious to know like of the ones I didn't try, which ones were really, really good. Diet Coke not sponsored. Okay. Um, the next one. Okay. Everything that this list is love likes, like loves, but everything from this point on have been absolute favorites. So number nine is going to go to caramel cream soda. Vanilla Cola Candy was one of those fun, nostalgic candles I got my hands on a few years ago. Caramel Cream Soda kind of brought that back for me. I would love to see that Vanilla Cola Candy make its appearance again. This is Caramel Syrup, Bubbly Cream Soda, and Rich Vanilla. This is so good. If you like that kind of scent, I do not get root beer. This is a total, like, I don't know. Root beer just has, like, ginger, and it is sweet, but this is sweeter in a different way. Um, This burnt really good. 
And I just love that kind of scent. Like it's so unique. I just, you couldn't make this yourself. You would have to have so many kinds of things on hand to make your own kind of caramel cream soda candle. So this was just a love from summer, super nostalgic and perfectly timed. It went with the right part of the year. And I really like this collection as a whole as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But that was a knock out of the park kind of candle. This one, I am so happy that they did. Sweet Whiskey was my one of my favorite body care scents for a couple of years now. Um, this has golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Body care is so good. And I will have, I'm happy to say that this in body care translated to the candle. Some of the body care candles that they've tried to do this year have not. I feel differently about certain candles. Like I will be honest, Sunrise Woods, I did not love as much in the candle form as I did in the body care. Um, there have been a few others too. I've liked preferred, I've liked preferred, I've liked or preferred them in one version of the other. But I love Sweet Whiskey in the candle as much as I love it in the body care. That was a long way around saying that. It smells so pretty. You get all the notes. You definitely get the amber and you get a little bit of vanilla and then the sweet berry scent. Like I said, the body care, that kind of like opens up over time. I'll get a little bit more of the vanilla whiskey scent then all of a sudden it turns into a sweet berry scent on me. It also, I feel like this one burns that way too. Um, I think I have six of these. This is like four. So I've gone through a couple. Love it. Love the jar. I just, this whole collection, I didn't jump on. I wanted Juniper and Gin, um, but this one I'm super glad I grabbed and backed up the way that I did um, because I love it. And I, I feel like it's the best one that they have tried to do that um, body care to candle, candle to body care of the year. Um, the next one is going to go to Dream Bright. This is new to my collection. I just grabbed it for Candle Day, but the packaging is beautiful. The scent on this is beautiful. It's Sapphire Berry, Night Blooming Orchid, Crystallized Vanilla. And I just think it smells so pretty. This is a perfume that I would probably want in a full size. Um, and it definitely feels like a winter candle. I feel like it's very cozy, but also leaves us a crispness that winter just kind of holds because there's just no humidity or life outside. You go, you get in, you get out, you know, type of thing. And I love Dream Bright because I feel like this would make me feel cozy in the winter. Um, the packaging's really pretty too. I have to give them just snaps on packaging this year because I don't normally buy things for packaging, but this year I was sucked in and I'm glad I was sucked in and also enjoyed the scents that I did. So I've got six more. I will be right back. Before I jump in to my final six, I am going to give one, one honorable mention. This would have made the top 2022 list if I would have had it before today. Um, but this is the last candle I've picked up for the year. It is pistachio and toasted vanilla. I have yet to burn this. That's why I just really didn't feel comfortable taking another candle out and putting this one in. But this smells so good. This is notes of salted pistachio, toasted vanilla, almond. And it's just like the perfect amount of sweet vanilla candy scent mixed with the nuts. They're toasted, not burnt. They're not overpowering. I really enjoy this. I definitely plan to back it up a little bit more. And again, I even love the packaging. I just feel like if I would've got my hands on this, it would've probably taken a spot away from a different candle. So it's the only cheat honorable mention I'm gonna give, but of everything that's come out from Candle Day, I've smelled, I haven't got to smell very much of it. This has been my favorite. So I will definitely be picking up more of that in the next sale. Okay, so number six goes to Coral Waves. I fell in love with this pretty little girl this year. Um, that This came out in the summer and it was just one of those underdog candles. Um, I do remember hearing Sneeko talk about it a lot. Um, and this was one that just was like beauty room friendly, pretty girl friendly. Like this was one that I like to burn in a small space because I really could get all the notes, which are peach nectar, beachside coconut, and fresh mango. It's pretty. It's not too sweet. It's very realistic fruit smelling, like almost like fruit salad. Like I really feel like if I had a bowl of peaches, coconut, and mango, this is what it would smell like. Um, but it also gives me outside vibes and I don't know, this is just a vibes candle. I really love this candle. This was one I picked up on a whim, I think for like an exchange to be honest. And then I burnt it and I was like, go get more. And now I have a hoard worthy amount of coral waves. I hope they bring it back. I don't know how it did overall. Um, this was in a collection with like 
fresh bamboo, um, ice dragon fruit tea. So those probably did a little bit better, but I hope this one did well enough that they would consider bringing it back because it's like a sneaky good scent. It's one of those scents kind of like Island Daydream to me. Everything together mixes. It's fruity and pretty. This is just pretty to me. Very, very pretty. And I love it. Okay, the next one is going to go to, this is hard at this point. I'm just being honest. Sour Melon Trap. This candle throws you out of your house. It is so good. It, like, with the lid on it, smells strong. Like, I can literally smell it without taking, like, what, how many candles do you have that you don't have to do this to smell it? This is definitely one of them. Juicy, or juicy, juicy candied watermelon, sour green apple, a bursting honeydew melon. This is just so bursting, fruity, sweet candy. I love it. I love it. I've got a few of them. I really hope that they bring this back again. This is another candle I would totally love to see come back in the over repackaging committee type of thing because it's so good. The next one is number four, and I'm going to give it to Poppy. Poppy was my absolute favorite um, signature scent of the year. I love this one. The packaging is beautiful. The notes are fresh morning dew, wild poppy, sugared rhubarb, and juicy pear. And it's just pretty. I like this one a lot. I do prefer it a bit more in body care, if I'm being honest. I've already gone through a full perfume. I was wearing this almost every day from the, like July, August into the fall. But I like it in candle too. So it definitely earned a spot. Um, and like I said, maybe I just wasn't in love with the other signature body care scents, but this one by far knocked it out of the park for me. I just it just is a scent that really I feel like is a me scent. And I can't explain it any other way. That just feels like it was a me scent. There you go. Another pretty girl that we had this year was Pink Shores. This is another one that I just really like to put on when I was doing my hair and makeup. And it smelled pretty and delicate. You know, I burnt this with like a pink petal tea cake once and the packaging was super cute. This was Candied Island Berry, Soft Rosy Dunes, Lemon Sugar, Ocean Sea Mist. It was just a different enough scent that it wasn't a cotton candy scent or it wasn't a sugary sweet, like sweet tart scent. The Ocean Mist and the Rosy Dunes made it its own little thing. But it was pretty. It was delicate without being light and not scented. It just was a delicate scent. And it kind of just moved around and everywhere I smelled this, I thought, oh, that just smells so pretty. So this one I knew kind of like coral waves. They kept switching spots, but I think I like this one just a tiny bit more. Probably liked them both the same, but this is what happens when you try to rank things. Let me know if you tried Pink Shores or Coral Waves and you felt the same way. This is another candle that I hope really sold well, so they bring it back again. I hope it doesn't take years for them too because it's really pretty and I just don't feel like I got enough love. So this is another candle I hope just did well because I'd like to see it come back again and not take five years. Um, it just smelled so pretty. I know that I saw Sneeko do reviews on this one and Coral Waves and I agree with every single thing she said about them. They were just pretty, happy, beautiful, delicate, and pretty. So that is why it made it so high up on my list this year. All right, Lindley, these two have been at the top of every single list I've done all year. So nothing was going to change at this point. So one of my candles I loved that was like the very beginning of 2022 was Champagne Margarita. This was like the first candle I fell in love with, I really want to say, for the year. It was freshly squeezed lime, bubbly champagne, sugar crystals, natural essential oils. And it just smells so good. Um, this does smell close enough to Frost and Mescal Mule for me that I did not find enough of a difference to say anything about it. Um, I do see quite a difference though between this one and Ginger Lime Twist that is right here. I just picked it up. I don't feel like these smell very similar at all. I mean, it doesn't really say it should. It's fizzy ginger beer, crushed mint. This has champagne, and but they both have lime. Again, I just feel like this one smells way different, but this one, I just was an instant fave. Such a powerhouse through throughout my whole house. Made everything smell so citrusy, fruity, and happy, and that has always been my number one kind of candle, so no wonder it made it so high up on my list, and probably the only white barn candle that made it on my list this year, and they've gave us a few good ones, but this was my favorite by far. Okay, and then the very last spot write it in the comments. You know, if you watched all the way to this point, listened to my voice like this, went through all the start stops and all the circles that I take on my squirrel brain, then you 
obviously have been watching and you know that Sweet Red Mango was my number one candle of 2022. This just smells so good. I just, I mean, if I drank melted wax, I'd probably, no, I'm just kidding. Ripe Mango Sunny Peach Pineapple Juice, but it smells like Skittles. It smells like tropical Skittles. Throws to your house, makes everything smell like this. My trick is, even though you're not supposed to, I have a coat rack that sits next to a table. I always hang a sweater I'm going to wear next to this because then the coat kind of, the sweater will smell like tropical Skittles. Not like over it where it's going to catch on fire, but like I love how much this throws because it really gives everything around it this scent. My purse sometimes, if I open it and it's been burning near the candle on the table next to it or whatever, it has a tropical Skittles scent. It's just this little extra Bit, but this was my favorite candle that came out this year if I could only keep one which I don't want to do that but like this crate right here is my coveted candles have the most of I definitely have like a whole six pack of this whole six pack of that I'm pretty sure I have a whole six pack of pink shores and coral waves too but I love them at least three three is a number of a candle that I really love but this one I have six or seven of and I don't even care because I, if they don't bring it back, which I think they will, but if it's not as good as this one, I have some backups of this one. And I know some of you didn't have a good experience with that candle, but I burnt like four or six of those over the summer and I had a good experience every single time. So that makes me sad for you, but that was a good candle. Um, that was my favorite candle of 2022. So I'm going to wrap this up, um, probably give my voice a rest. I'm going to come back and do my favorite 2020. 2022 body care scents. That's what I'm trying to say. I also have a couple more candle top tens for you, some post burn reviews I'm looking at on the floor. Um, just lots and lots of stuff. So just say a little prayer for your friend over her voice so I don't want to be sick the whole break, but I have lots of content coming your way as soon as I feel like I've got this under control. Um, take care of yourself. Happy holidays. I will definitely post a few videos before Christmas though. Um, but just thank you so much for all of the great comments. I, you guys, I'm reading them, I promise. I'm gonna try over break to at least comment to everybody because I just know that that was my favorite part from before. So I'm gonna do my very best. But um, thank you for watching this one. Absolutely let me know down below what your favorite candles were for the year of 2022. And here we go, we're moving on to 2023. What will Bath & Body Works give us next year? I, it's really hard to guess, but we're going to try. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Take care.